Moonlight Peaks is an upcoming farming and life simulation title where you play as a vampire on a mission to prove to your father, Count Dracula, that a life of compassion is possible, even for the undead. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today we will be taking a first look at Moonlight Peaks. In this game, you get to customize your own vampire before starting a new magical life. Farm cursed crops, master the art of witchcraft, brew potions, learn to shapeshift, prepare delicious meals, and enjoy a variety of mini games throughout the magical town of Moonlight Peaks. You can also befriend local werewolves, witches, and mermaids and find your eternal love in the supernatural day scene. Although we don't know exactly when the full version of the game will be released, there's currently a demo available for it on Steam. This demo focuses primarily on decorating, but also showcases features like potions, spells, farming, and shapeshifting. So without any further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. So in this demo version, you can play for seven nights. I'm currently going to be using a controller that was recommended by the team in one of the live streams they did. Oh look, it's me! Is that me? How did they know I was blonde? Is this my little cat? Hi, finally woke up, huh? I guess so, you have three eyes, but you're so cute. Time to do some farming. Give him a little pat. Very cute. We start at 4.15 p.m. Oh my gosh, we're here. I'm Brooke Logan, the mayor. I always make a point of welcoming new citizens to our town. So you're Dracula's kin, huh? That's sure to liven things up around here. We've temporarily closed the town for a little makeover. Got to keep things interesting, you know? So for now, it's just you and your farm. So yes, we have to stay on our farm in this demo, but we're gonna have plenty to do, so that's not a problem. That's your mailbox over there. Looks great. Oh yes, here's your very own Chester. I like Chester. Whenever you want to sell stuff, toss it in there. It is our selling bin. That's awesome. Chesters are always hungry for a good deal. I love that. That's it for now. All right, so we have mail. Let's check that. Hello, dear. I hope you're settling into your new place in Moonlight Peaks. It's been so quiet without you. I miss you terribly. Your dad is driving me crazy. He's been going on and on about you destroying his legacy. I think he's being a bit dramatic. By the way, did you get a chance to meet that toad merchant? He's been around forever. Maybe check near the river and see if he's still around. Have you started with your farming yet, sweetheart? They say every great gardener starts with a trusty shovel. I'm sure you'll make it work. Love, mom. Sweet. Mom's giving us the tips and tricks. Oh, we have pumpkin seeds. I don't want to sell those. I want to plant those. We have a little crafting table. Very cool. Oh, look at this, you guys. Different colored hedges. I love the little bat wings that highlight when you select an item. Oh my gosh, the jack-o'-lanterns. We have some really cool stuff to craft. The pathing. Cauldron. Wait, do we have a cauldron? We do have a cauldron. Well, I don't know how to make any potions yet. I love a tool wheel. Can clear some of this. Oh, I picked some tulips. <gasps> Butterfly. Oh my gosh, what are you? Hello? Pig goat? A pig and a goat? Wait, what? Can I pick this mushroom? I can. We can forage. Red mushroom. <gasps> what are you? There's so many creatures. A golem. Looks happy. I can pet the golem too. Look at the little hearts. Oh, this looks like an interesting little spot. I'm gonna spend so much time, like, wandering around instead of decorating because everything's so cool. Can I catch this? <gasps> I can. Ooh, we caught a green Amanumana butterfly. <laughs> its emerald wings embody the vitality of the natural world. Shout out to all the emerald members. Very pretty. And look, my net is a heart shape. It's so cute. I love it. I love bug catching in a game. What are you? Okay, so me decorating? No. Me roaming around looking at how cute everything is. Look at this. Looks like it wants attention. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Look at this little black chicken. And it's little chicklets. They literally look like eggs. They literally look like they are eggs. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's see if we can take care of some of this stuff. I'm still flattered that they knew I was blonde. Oh, more mushies. Other types, brown mushroom. I wonder if I can break this big log. Looks like I can. Now, I'm guessing in the full game, you probably would have to first upgrade it. <gasps> Glowing mushroom. Also, look how pretty this tree is. <gasps> is the water purple? Wait, stop it. <gasps> oh my gosh, hello. Wait, let me put this ax away. That's not very friendly of me. Hello, sir. <gasps> 
Yabis the Magic Toad, you are so cool. Seeking to purchase mystical floral items. They have some arches, some bushes, flower beds. So these are items that you could also craft, it looks like, or you could purchase them. Some seeds, yeah, garlic seeds, ginger, blueberry, blackberry. Wild googly garlic seeds. Wait, not your average garlic, not your average ginger. They got like eyeballs. Sage, lavender, lavender, you guys, you can grow lavender. Honey onion, carrots, they look like purple carrots. Dark strawberries, are you freaking kidding me? Mandrakes. This is so cool. Little seed. This is adorable. Little seedlings. Small tulip bucket. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, there's a fish. wonder if we can fish. I've never played a game with magical, mystical, purple galaxy water. And these trees. Shake. Ooh, we got some wood just from shaking. I'm literally about to spend my whole night here just wandering around. <laughs> can I use my magic wand on this spot? Cast spell. Arbor Levitant. Tap into the arcane forces of nature to effortlessly relocate a tree. Refill your watering can with the essence of life-giving water. Oh, you can cast a spell. So that's not this. Can I dig this up? <gasps> it gave me seeds. I'm gonna catch another one of these. Maybe I could sell it. Ooh, look at these. Is this ore? Iron. I don't think I have stamina. Now, I don't know if that's just for the demo so you can get lots done. Or if it'll be like that for the full game. Not sure. Very nice. Um, I want to dig this spot up too. See if I get more treats. More eggplant seeds. I want to get to this treasure chest. See what's in here. Oh, lots of hardwood. I'm hoping they're giving us lots of stuff that we can craft with. <gasps> what's that? What are you? Can I catch you? I caught it, but I can't see it. A blue soul blob? This spectral apparition cradles lost souls within its ethereal form. Get back here. Got it. What's this one? Oh, it looks so cool. A red Amanumana butterfly. It flutters with fiery elegance. Uh, the controls feel really good, you guys, so far. I'm using my PS5 controller. Use up on the D-pad to enter decoration mode. Use square to open your inventory and select the decoration you want to place with X. Open inventory. I don't think I have anything yet. I just have all the little things I've collected. I'm gonna continue clearing a little bit of this land and then I'm gonna see what we can craft. I like how when you clear things every once in a while, um, there will be like a little bug or something that emerges from what you've cleared. Oh, there's the soul blob that was hidden earlier. It's pretty cute. It's like a little floating skeleton. We can forage all these flowers. I wonder if we can use those for crafting too. We can't go into town yet, but in the full game, I think that's where you'll go to enter the town. Wow. I'm really impressed so far. Controls are really good. Graphics are super cute. I love these little chickens. So it looks like it's 2 a.m. I'm not sure what time. So we started at 4 p.m. I'm not sure what time the night ends at. Oh, look at the little birds on the roof. That's cute. I just want to see what we kind of need for crafting. So now I can make, okay, like wood, fiber, stone, iron bar cloth interesting some of these things we'll need to like process first i wonder if i'll get the makers to do that very specific flowers so i should be picking all the flowers actually i love these purple bushes and these ones these ones give like such good fall vibes oh look at this pink tree i want to make this oh you can craft multiple things so if i want to make two of those oh then we press x to craft Got it. You queue it up and then you craft multiple. These are my trees. <gasps> Look at them. Okay, very nice. Kind of want to have these like in the center. To kind of make entrance to my house like a little bit hidden almost. And just a note, the time does still pass while you're decorating. I also noticed, looks like I'm, look at my hands. I'm like enchanting these things to levitate. That's so cute. Okay, okay. So if I wanted to sell things... We'd probably want to sell the bugs. I didn't see like a purpose for them in crafting just yet. Oh, there's eggs too. Oh, I also feel like I should plant some of my crops here. The sun is coming up soon. Okay, so I think we have to go to bed because it's getting, it's getting early. I've been so just enamored by the game. I forgot to farm. <laughs> so we made 137 coins. Oh my gosh, I love how we wake up. That's so funny. Okay, now we know what to do. Let's get down to business here. Oh, we have mail. Oh, packages? Oh my gosh. 
herb drying racks. Look at all these things. Lavender seeds, honey onion seeds. Oh my gosh, they're giving us lots of stuff. Hi dear, I've packed some things that might be useful for your garden. We don't have any room for them. Our garden is quite the jungle already. I've always loved herb gardens. Those herbs make for wonderful potion ingredients. After you've harvested them, make sure to place them on the drying rack. Love, mom. P.S. Are you watering your plants? In case it slips your mind, I've included an automatic watering spell with this letter. Give it a try. Okay, we learned a new spell called Aqua Flow. That's cool. Ooh, you can customize the interior and exterior of your home. We can pick a different color for the wall. I think I'm gonna go with pink and I can change the roof. <gasps> Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with the gray roof for now. So wait, we can do that on the inside as well? Yes, we can, we can change the wall. There's lots of options for this. And the floors, the trim as well. Cool. Oh, <gasps> I can turn into a bat? Look at it, it's freaking bats. Wow. I love Halloween. Talk about fast travel that's so smooth we can turn into a bat that's really cool okay so we learned this new one summon an enchanted watering can with the ability to water up to 16 crops that's cool i don't have any crops yet we gotta plant some of those for sure i kind of want to have crops like lining my entryway wow there's some really cool paths though Ooh, i might be crafting one of these i want to try crafting one of these and see what it looks like yeah i like this one and i like that it replaces um the path automatically chasing all these soul blobs is fun they're tricky to catch with these cat paws though oh i did almost catch one yesterday did you ever catch the soul blob i did do you want one cool i wonder if they taste good or not Ooh, i don't know give you a little pet though that's really sweet not the eating of the soul blobs <laughs> the petting is really sweet um can i undo yes i can if I have enough money to buy some more seeds, I kind of want to get more lavender. I kind of want to try these eyeball ones too. Go get six of those and six sage. So the herbs need to be planted in a herb garden, which is what our mom sent us, I believe. These herb gardens? Oh, they're big. Okay, hold on. I can move my mailbox. Interesting. Okay. There we go. It looks like I just needed one seed for that whole thing. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not, but I bought way more than I needed. I'm going to plant some pumpkins like here. And then I'm also going to plant some blueberries, my favorite. I'm pretty sure you can play this in co-op as well. I think the second player is the cat. I'm pretty sure, which is kind of cool. We should try that spell for watering. Follow the cursor carefully to perform the spell. Okay. So we go up, around, across, and down. Oh, and then we have a magical watering can. So it'll water hopefully everything. I guess we'll find out. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, while it's doing that, we can craft some more stuff here. I want everything. What do I need for these? Oh, I need pumpkins, of course. Oh, these, this is what we need. We need a furnace to make bars. The loom probably to make cloth as well. I love that we can like queue up things to craft all at once. Oh, look at these twinkle lights. Oh, we need some of those. I feel like I like this medium one. I also kind of want some of these or these. I want them all. I want everything. Okay, let's start with that. So these are all sorts of different machines. Okay, we'll make some bars. Maybe I'll make another one of those in case we really need bars because it seems like it only does one at a time. And then here for cloth, get that going. Now, how's my watering can doing? Did it water everything for me? So then let's check out these fairy lights. Oh, they're so pretty. I kind of want these here. Might remove these fences for now and put the fairy lights here. And then we could take these lamps. I could pull them down, actually. Sun is coming up. Oh, no. Time's going by so fast. I could spend forever decorating. It's so fun. I might pull these down a little bit further and then extend the path and then move. Can I move this? Oh, we can just move the chicken coop. I will do that. Okay, the clock is ticking. Okay, let's get to bed. <laughs>
It's kind of funny. Like usually when I play a game with decorating, I always like, I'm like, oh, it's getting too dark. Like, let's just skip to the next day so I can see again. But it's actually the opposite in this game. It's getting too light. And I'm like, oh, I need it to be darker so I can see because it's like the vibe of the game, you know? This is so fun. I'm loving this so far. I'm getting so in the zone too. I did not sell anything. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay. I just feel like I'm going to need most of the stuff I have to actually craft and whatnot. Oh, we got more packages. <gasps> Look at my pumpkins. They're coming in. I kind of want to plant more pumpkins because I, it looks like we need some to actually craft with, but I just wanted those ones for decoration. So let's start off with the watering spell. Let's cast this one here. So it can start watering for us while we go about doing other things. Thank you, enchanted watering can. So we have another letter from mom. I think we're getting these letters and all these gifts because it's the demo. I think they're trying to like throw us a bone, you know, because <laughs> we only have the seven days. Uh, this one says, hi, honey. I hope you're doing well. Has your garden started to feel cozier with the things I sent your way? And how's our little hell kitten? I can't believe they followed you on your big adventure. I'm sure dad didn't even notice they were gone. There's so much stuff here. Your dad is such a hoarder. He keeps bringing stuff back from all over the world. I'm going to clean out the place and send you more things. Hugs and kisses, mom. Send me all the things. I'm on the clock here. So what did we get today? A loom? Oh, and I made a loom. <laughs> that's okay, I guess. We'll have an extra one. Rustic wooden bench. Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, so watering can is watering. These are done. Let me refill. Oh yeah, these are cute. Let's put them like maybe here and here. Want to add more of the pathing. Okay, we need a lot more pathing. Oh, look, there's eggs. <laughs> what are you? Look at that thing. Look at that thing. I don't think you can sneak. Got it. What is it? A black beetle? I also don't know that I'm going to use that wooden path. I'm kind of not really going for that look right now, it seems. The flower beds, yes. Um, I don't know where to put my mailbox, actually, to be honest. We could put it there for now. Okay, we need a lot more pathing. I think if I lay down some pathing, that'll help me, like, see what my layout's gonna be like, you know? And then we can go from there. I like how things are coming along so far, though. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. I love this enchanted well. It looks so cool. Hmm. I want to move this tree. So let's try using that spell. Because I don't want to get rid of it. It's so pretty. Up. Around. To the side. Around. Down. Okay. So then I can move this tree. Oh, I love that. Oh, it'd be so pretty here. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I love that. Can we get another one on the other side? I like how it like adds dimension. It hides like a little bit of my design, but in like a good way, if that makes sense. It looks like all the trees are facing the same way. So it's not like we can mirror it. Okay. And then I'm going to move this tree here. And then I'm going to move my mailbox again. My poor mailbox keeps getting shuffled around all over the place. So then I need... What do I need? What do we have? Like I still have some stuff. Yeah, I have some of the hedges. More purple hedges. I'm gonna add... Pathing to here. And around like that. And then I think when I add the purple hedge like that and then I want to put one more thing here maybe another tree or something so let's just mirror that on this side I'm very into <laughs> symmetry if you did not know I like things to be symmetrical I like things to be balanced so I'm gonna make another set of those I think we should make a couple of these just to check them out I'm gonna make some of these well it wouldn't hurt to make more of these pink trees because they're really nice I might also make one of these. I'm just gonna try to make whatever I can, basically. 
uh, just to check it all out, see what it all looks like. I kind of want to make a second one of these boxes too. Ooh, what's another color we could use? Maybe the blue roses? Let's make two of those. Yesterday I caught a bird, but then I let it go. That was very noble of you. Thanks, but out of stress, the bird flew into a wall and fell into the water? Oh no. What a little rascal. <laughs> I think it's okay though. Bit of a troublemaker. Oh my goodness, are you okay, buddy? I don't know if he's okay. He's stuck. He doesn't like my de my design. He doesn't like my furniture. Can I help him if I move this? Okay. Buddy, can you stop hanging out in this area? Red bush. Let's see what these look like. Oh, these are nice. Hey, that might be the ticket. I do like those. The blue rose flower beds. I'm going to double up these. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, this cat. Yeah, get out of here. He just wants to, like, cause trouble in my garden or something. <laughs> Buddy, I'm gonna stop helping you. I'm done with helping him. He knows. He know. Like, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Why are you here? I can't with him. Am I expected to help you every time you get yourself stuck? Like... Just stay out of this area. <laughs> It's a simple solution. Now you're wasting my time. I have- I'm on a clock here. <laughs> Let's check out these seedlings. Oh, they're super cute. These would go great next to these. Yeah, like that. I need two more for the other side. Oh, and this one. I wonder- I should be able to make more of these. Wait, what if we did- Maybe we can move it down a bit? I actually just like it like that. That's cute. And then I have some more of these pink trees. Which I feel like I could use, like, up here. Maybe like that. Okay, let's go to bed. It's getting early. Hopefully the cat sorts itself out. And by the next day, yeah, we're gonna go to sleep. The third night. I did sell a few things. So we made 348 coins. Should go back to the shop and see what we can purchase. Hell Kitten, I expect you to behave yourself today. Okay? I'll give you a pet for good luck. Now behave, okay? Thank you. Oh, you guys, it's looking so good. I definitely want more of the twinkle lights. Let's once again start off. Oh, we have mail too. But let me start off with casting my spell to water everything. I love that it can just water itself. Now, it is up to 16 crops, so it's not like unlimited. Let me also transform into my bat form to go down here a bit quicker. See what I can buy. Oh, I like these arches. We should definitely get some arches going. I'll probably buy that. I was hoping to maybe buy some of the jack-o'-lanterns because I don't necessarily want to pick the ones I have. I hope you aren't getting tired of my letters. You're probably very busy. Anyway, I just remembered another spell that may be of use to you. I've included it with this letter. The spell will help you grow your crops faster. It's quite powerful, so it may even mature some crops all the way. I sent you some lights for your garden. Hope they help to brighten up your night. Oh my gosh, I was just saying that I wouldn't have time to get the pumpkins uh, to use to craft. Maturiado? Okay, so in that case, instantly mature your crops. Cool, let's uh, expand our farm. <laughs> I love these critters just hanging out. I'm gonna do plots of six because it seems like the merchant sells the seeds in sixes. Oh, did you lay an egg? Eventually there will be cooking in this game, I'm pretty sure, so I'm guessing you could use those eggs for that, but... Oh my gosh, he's just, uh, I guess he likes what I've done with the place. How nice would, like, a fountain be right here? I think that'd be really nice. Today's a farming day, I guess. <laughs> Today is a farming day. Now, am I gonna remember what I have planted and where? Probably not. I'm gonna get more raspberries, and then I really want some pumpkins. Ooh, dark strawberries are so cool, though. Get 12 pumpkins and 12 dark strawberries. It's freaking bats. I love turning it into a bat. It's so fun. I'm curious to see how these will all look once they're fully, you know, growing. I'm also curious as to whether I need to water them first to use that new spell. Uh, I guess we could try it out. So if I just want them to become fully mature, what happens? Does it work? <gasps> oh 
How many times can I cast it? Look at my pumpkins. So can I pick them then? And now we can craft with the pumpkins? <gasps> okay, wait, let me go get two more pumpkin seeds. Otherwise that's gonna bother me. And then I'll definitely water the rest. I just wanted to get the pumpkins. As long as we have those pumpkins, I am happy. I wanted to make some of those like jack-o'-lantern decorations. But I wonder if I can use the watering spell again. Oh yeah, it's like filled with water again. So while those are watering, I have to make sure everything gets watered though. And then let's make some of these. Yes. Um, I like the pink one. This one's really cool too. It really pops. So I think I'm going to make one of those. I think I'm going to make... Mm, I can only make two. So I think I'm going to make a pink one and a teal one. I definitely want more fairy lights. I like the shorter ones. I want to try those out. And then I did buy another bucket, so I don't have to make one. I think this would be a fun thing to have too, this wheelbarrow. I love the crafting system. It's nice and easy. Oh, I even have presents. I didn't even see I had presents. What did I get? Oh, purple flower arch. More fairy lights. Oh, I'll take unlimited fairy lights. And then I need to place that... Oh, wait, the eyes are growing in. Look at them. They look so cool. This bucket put there. Then I actually think some of the lamps might look cool back here. Those taller lamps, like these ones. Purple flower arch. Let's see what... The oh, these are so cute. <gasps> Let's put one right here. That's like perfect. Blue jack-o'-lantern. That's the teal one. And then the purple one. So cute. Uh, short fairy lights. Oh, these would be cute here. Here. More fairy lights. More fairy lights. Oh my gosh, it's getting too light out. <laughs> okay, well, let me just... I think I want to try and sell some stuff quickly before I go to bed. I'm also going to sell these seeds because I've planted, I think, everything I want to plant uh, for this demo. I kind of just want everything to be, like, nice and, like, grown in, you know, to get the final look. And, oh my gosh, the watering can did not finish watering these. So how do we water? We just go like this. Oh, that's pretty easy. Except for when we run out of water. I wonder what happens if I don't make it to bed in time. <laughs> I should really get back to my coffin. But I have to water my crops. I gotta water them. Oh no! One of my, one of my plants didn't get watered and I passed out. <laughs> I don't know what the consequence is in the demo for passing out, but I guess we'll find out. 400 gold? Nice. Oh no, it's still 4 o'clock p.m., so I don't know. I guess I didn't even decorate the inside of my... We can move all the stuff around, but it looks nice. I think I'm just going to leave it, <laughs> to be honest. <gasps> Look, my pumpkins and blueberries have grown in. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It is looking so cute. <gasps> Look at everything growing in. Oh, and the poor little one that didn't get watered over here. I'm very sorry. Let me cast my spell again to start watering things. I totally got lost in the decorating that I forgot. I knew the spell wouldn't water all of them for sure, but... I guess we can always use the spell to help it mature and catch up to the other ones. But let's read our mail. Hi honey, just a short note to let you know I've packed more stuff for you. I hope you don't find it overwhelming with all these boxes. I recall the farm being pretty spacious, so I'm sure you'll have plenty of room to arrange all the items I've sent your way. Love, mom. What did mom send me today? A wheelbarrow. I literally just crafted one. <laughs> and more flower beds. I'll take those. Oh, very nice. Let's do this. And this. Uh, let me cast another watering spell. That one poor crop is like not getting <laughs> enough attention. I'm going to make sure it gets watered this time. I feel sad for it. Let's water these ones. I need more iron ore. Oh. Okay, so it looks like I don't have any more iron ore to collect. So I won't be able to make any more of those fairy lights. Is that correct? Have I maxed out my iron supply? <laughs> Which knowing that, I probably wouldn't have processed so much of it into bars, but that's okay. Give you a little pet. This chicken looks happy. It's a chicken, you guys. It's cute. So I wanted to make some of these lamps. Oh, I can because I have iron bars. Perfect. Let's make two of those. 
I thought they would look cute, like here maybe? Yeah, and then over here. Love that. I might get some more flower pieces too, but let's just finish with the pathing down here. I think I'm also gonna use this cauldron in my design because it looks so cool. I think maybe I'll put it like here. And then my crafting table. I feel like we could put it down here with this chest. I'm gonna clear this area and make like a little crafting kind of setup over here. Oh, and we're not gonna make the same mistake. We're gonna make sure our crops are all watered by the end of the day. It's getting early here. Sun is coming up. Oh, I don't wanna go to bed. Having so much fun. My cat is not having the best time. <laughs> but let's go to bed or let's go to coffin. I don't know. <laughs> the fifth night, so we have two nights left. Let's get straight to, to decorating. We have more packages. That's awesome. I love free stuff. <laughs> oh, look at the stationery for this one. Look at the difference. Dear offspring. That's what our father calls us. I don't agree with any of the choices you've made. You're a very stubborn individual. I shall have to find a way to reconcile myself with your chosen lifestyle, if only to curtail the persistent nagging from your mother. I shall be leaving on a long trip soon. I was planning to bring plenty of furniture and such, but I decided to send them to you instead. You shall receive a big parcel in the morrow. I implore you to put the items to good use. Your father, Dracula. Well, you know what? If he's gonna be mad, at least he's sending us stuff. <laughs> So what do we get? We get a regal table, some tulip buckets, nice. Let's use those. I like these, they're cute. Like that. And then maybe let's try out a different path. So how about we try, oh, this one's cool. The rose path, oh, this one's really nice. This one too, vampire path. Oh my gosh, they're all so cool. It's so hard to choose. I might try this one. Just for our little crafting area. Yeah, that looks nice. What else do we want to make? Definitely some more hedges. Kind of want to make some of these ones as well. Ooh, we can make some rugs too. Oh, and I definitely want to make some of these flower beds. Let's do the purple tulips. Now, I wonder if we can put rugs down outside or just inside. Let's find out. Oh, we can put them outside. I wish I could center that with the rug. That would be really nice, but we can't do that. That's okay. How about... Oh yeah, these are really nice. I love these purple hedges. They're so pretty. Love that. Uh, oh yeah, then I want to place some of these flower boxes, I think. Uh, like down here. Yeah, I like that. And I want to put something in between each of these. I wonder if we should do like a hedge. Something like this. Let me cast my... Actually, let's try and cast a spell to mature these. Okay, let's see how many times we can do that <laughs> out of curiosity. Because I'd like all the crops to be grown in by the end of the, you know, seven nights. I think that'd be nice. Okay, whoa, those are so cool. Mm, look at the eggplants, those are so cool. Okay, you guys, so I used the Maturiato spell on all of my crops, so they're all grown in. Look how cute and yummy they look. Oh my gosh, my little friend here is hanging out. You want some attention? Aww. Okay, so I want to make my potion brewing area a little bit more... I don't know, I want to add something to it. So... We could start with some pathing. I will need more. Or we could use a different kind of path, maybe. Might place these ones. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And then see if there's anything we can make for the potion brewing area. I wouldn't mind having a couple more of these trees. This bench is nice too. Let's make a couple of those. This one's nice too. Let's make a couple of those. The sign, let's make one of those. We got lots of stuff here. Oh, and I do need to make some more pathing. I don't know where I'm going to put any of this yet, but <laughs> I'll figure that out. Um, let's make this one for the potion crafting area. Oh my gosh, I love how my farm is looking. It looks so pretty. 
Honestly, I'm like pretty proud of what I've come up with here. I was like worried with the restriction of having like seven nights or whatever that I would just like panic and not get anything done. But I feel like it's gone pretty well. There's a flower. So these flowers you actually can't place anything on top of. You have to clear them. They're really pretty though. Uh, so let's add that one more piece of path here. I made just the right amount. And then we can put the potion station there. I like having it closer though. Can I get through it when it's there? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and then... Oh, there's an egg up here. Grab that. Uh, then I think I'm going to add more of the hedges, the red one, here. I'm going to bring it around. Yeah, I think that's good. Looks good to me. We have some iron benches. Oh, these are nice. Maybe you just want to hang out at the potion station, you know? Maybe there? Maybe we want to sit at the end of the... Have a little seating area here. And then I need some kind of like single tile plant, like one of these. Oh, and some of these, we should make some of these arches. Oh, and some bushes. I'm gonna add this to this air. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I forgot the chiclets look like eggs. I was like, wow, you laid a lot of eggs, little guy. That's so funny. I literally thought those were all her eggs. Okay, let's put this other tree here and then let's do an arch yeah i like that um, i'm gonna put this one over here though yeah right there no the sun isn't coming up you're lying it's not okay okay we can go to bed oh no this is gonna be our last this is gonna be our last night coming up i'm not ready for this to be over i'm having so much fun go to sleep so once again I didn't sell anything I didn't really feel like I needed a lot of money I've been able to craft most of my decor okay you guys this is the last night it's very bittersweet I'm excited to see my farm come together oh you're in my pumpkin <laughs> mayor Logan good evening you've certainly been keeping busy this week I didn't expect a Dracula to be such a hard worker <gasps> Look at, he has become one with the pumpkin. Can't say I'm exactly thrilled to admit it, but your farm's shaping up quite nicely, isn't it? Look at my eyeball plants. Reminds me a bit of your mom's old place. Get on with it, old man. It's okay, I guess. I aim to stand out. Wonderful. Just one more day to go before the week is up. Make it count. Make it count, to get it? Haha. <laughs> the townsfolk are utterly intrigued by your presence. They'll be wanting to meet you. Though I can't promise you'll win them all over. You've got some work to do there, Dracula. Anyhow, I'll be standing in my usual spot. We shall meet again. Hey, get out of here. I've got some designing to do. This is the last day. No pressure, no pressure. Hi, honey. It seems like your dad is finally warming up to the idea of visiting you soon. I hope I can convince him to make the trip. Most people there won't be too happy about us visiting, but I really want to see you again. Today, you'll be receiving the last batch of items I sent over. Our castle is looking tidy again, at least until your father returns from his trip with more things. If only he would bring me some flowers instead. Oh well. Aww. I'm so excited to see how you've decorated the place. I'm sure it's absolutely lovely. Oh my gosh, thanks, Mom. Okay, what did we get on the last day? Chair, side table. A gramophone. A sofa and overhanging chair purple so what do we want to do honestly like i'm pretty let's do a little walk around i'm pretty happy with how this has like turned out i think i could add a couple bushes up here like these ones i honestly think i might put these away because i'm not using them just to like clear up the space and then i think i can move some trees up there like some of these ones that are crowding so let me cast we gotta get ready for our last looks you guys excellent so let me move this tree i think here would be a nice spot for it uh can i fly over this stuff if i'm a bat oh i can fly over my hedges that's awesome i'm gonna clear up some of this debris how to make everything look nice and pretty for our photo you get a picture on the last day of your final form so we're gonna you know, just clean up the place a little bit. 
with the time we have anyway. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do my last looks, you guys. I'm pretty happy with how everything has turned out. So this is the entrance to my house. We have my pumpkin patch and my blueberry bushes. Uh, and then over here, I envision this being like a little secret, you know, sitting area, or maybe there's treasures I could hide back there. Uh, then as you come out to like the center area, I have my farm down below. So I have all sorts of awesome crops. Uh, growing the twinkle lights. I wanted to add more twinkle lights, but I ran out of iron to make more. I would have totally like lined this with twinkle lights, but I also have my flower garden down here. And then I have my little crafting area over here, which is also located right next to the shop. So it's perfect. Running back and forth. Uh, then over to the left, I have my potion brewing area really cute. I also have another herb garden here. This is my lavender tucked away. And then of course my chickens. My chicken coop is over here. Let me give them another pet. I'm gonna miss them. They're so cute. So that's my little chicken coop area. And then over to the right I have my well. I have a little seating area here. And then of course my other herb garden which are these googly garlics <laughs> and my shipping bin which is like i feel like we're friends i feel like this is one of my besties look he even follows me keeps an eye on me everything over on this side is keeping an eye on me got a little eyeball theme going on so i think i'm just gonna clear a bit more of my land here before i get the final picture so yeah, I'm really happy with how this has all turned out. I think it looks so cute. I love the controls for the game. It controls super smooth. I played again with a controller, not keyboard and mouse. It feels really good. The decorating is really nice and smooth. Sometimes I wish it wasn't locked to a grid. Like with any game, most games are locked to a grid for design. So you can still do a lot though, even being on that grid system. Sometimes though, I'm like, oh, I just wish I could center this a little bit better. I love that we can move the trees around. These trees are gorgeous. Um, I really like the options that they have for decor so far. I'd love to see it expanded, but the most notable thing for me is just how nice everything looks. Like everything, every asset, every piece of decor looks really polished, really nice texture, really nice color, really nice detail. So it's definitely quality over quantity. Mind you, there's a lot of stuff to decorate with um, for a demo. So like if you looked at the whole catalog, there's quite a wide variety of stuff as you can see so i'd love to see this just further expanded over time and you know maybe if you don't like the vampiric style maybe if they add more styles too that can still fit the spooky vibes but add some different styles um, i love how many plant options are given as well i love decorating with plants i feel like you can do a lot with plants even just using the same item over and over again so that's really smart on their part to have lots of plant items but yeah, I'm curious to see what happens as our day ends. I feel like I could just sell everything else that I have. If he wants to eat it all up, he sure can. And then yeah, it does look like in the future, you know, you'll be able to exit through here and head into town, which is cool. I must say, it's been exhilarating to see you at work, vampire. I haven't often seen vampires work as hard as you do. I guess he's just been watching me design this whole time. But my gosh, you guys, really, really great first impressions from me on this game. I can't wait to follow its development and see how it shapes up. I am super impressed. Super, super impressed. I guess we have to still go to bed. My poor cat just kept getting stuck there, though. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but it is what it is. I mean, he's got to find his way around. Would you like to sleep? Yes. Oh my gosh. That was it. The seventh night. Made some money. Wow, 3,000 coins. I just sold it all at the end. Because why not? 369. Do I get my picture? <gasps> I do! Oh my gosh. Wait, look how cute. Look how cute. Your cheerful wonderland. See your farm? Oh my gosh. Look at my farm. In the end. 
It's looking so cute. So that was the seven night decorating demo for Moonlight Peaks. It's available on Steam right now. If you guys want to check it out too, I highly, highly recommend it. I had such a fun time. I actually like low key want to play it through again, especially now that I know the mechanics and like really see what I can do with the farm. But honestly, I'm so happy with how my design turned out uh, in the time that we were given. And of course me just wandering around for so long just admiring everything. This is such a unique take on like the farm life sim genre. I love how it's like nights instead of days. I wasn't sure how that was going to play out because usually I like there to be light like I was saying earlier but I loved the nighttime setting. They have the lighting like so well done so you don't feel like it's too dark or anything. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you plan to play the demo, if you already have. Even if not, I'd just love to hear your thoughts about the demo and what we've seen of the game so far. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Also, please give the video a like if you're excited for Moonlight Peaks or curious to learn more. And with all that being said, Thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Meredith, Formotus, Tansy, Cisco, Cheese, Divine Raven, Blossom, Paul, Jack, Danny, Becca, Kayla, Wolf, Salem, Zeres, Anime Lover, Ember, Lawrence, Faviola, Sunshine, and Kicknell, my beautiful Sunstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so so much for the extra support on the channel, which really helps to make all that I do possible. It means the world to me.